Hey everyone, it's Dustin Stelzer from Journey to Master and today's episode I'm going to talk websites and how I built my website. I can't tell you how many electrical companies I've worked for with just a bunch of old dudes working for them that didn't even have a website. <laughs> just stuck in the stone ages. Um, most electrical contractors that have websites are just using them in case somebody might run into them. But there's a lot you can do online nowadays and if you don't have a website, what are you doing? So in this episode, I talk about websites. Websites, 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 websites. Okay, so in today's age, if you're a company at all, you have to have a website. You need a website. There's even people talking nowadays that like, you should just own your name as a website. DustinStelzer.com, I mean, I own that. That's my personal website. But because the internet is so young still, like the internet's in its teens, you know, it might be 20 years old by now, but the internet's just really young and it changes so quickly. So in another 20 years, I mean, the amount of websites and the amount of like space is gonna be so vastly taken up that having your own name as a website uh, is gonna be a good idea. That being said, um, you need to have a website for your business. That's kind of a given. If you're a young dude, you already know that. Um, but where do you go? How do you make websites? How much do websites cost? How do you get a www.com? How do you get a my name at whatever.com email address? All that's really simple. So. You can use things like WordPress. Just go to wordpress.com and check it out. WordPress is really, started out as like a blogging site. So a lot of their resources and a lot of their technology and stuff on their site is is for like blogging and vlogging. And you know, if, if you have portfolios, if you're an artist or photographer or something like that, that's kind of what it's built around. Although you can still do e-commerce sites, you know, you can sell shit on a website. Um, my personal favorite, there's Wix also. Wix is another one. I didn't really like Wix. I've tried building a few different sites on there. Every website that I've ever built, I've always built on my own. And since the invent of Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, um, all these things, you can just go to like squarespace.com. You go on there, they give you a, like a 14 day trial and you can like grab stuff and drag it and put it where you want and build a website. You don't have to know all this coding anymore. And it's super cheap. I mean, the hosting probably costs like five to 10 bucks a month for your website to stay on the internet. And the domain, your actual like name, the www.blablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablablabl
there's so many people online and everybody's got a website, website this, website that. There's like 70 million electricians out there. So for you to even like be seen, just making a website's not enough. You can't make a website and then have it and be like, okay, all these people are gonna see it. You have to get ranked. And there's so many crabs in the barrel already that to climb above all the other crabs just to be seen, you have to do a lot of work on your website. You need to do search engine optimization. You need to write articles. If you can think of a topic like breakers, if you can write 10 blog posts that are, you know, like, I don't know, 500 to 1,000 words about breakers and you know, it's like you use the word breakers and you use Cutler Hammer and you use Siemens and you just talk about breakers in 10 articles, you're going to rank a lot higher when people are searching for breakers. If you just write 10 articles about electrician and you put the, the your city, you know, like Philadelphia electrician, electricians in Philadelphia. Do you live in Philadelphia? Are you looking for an electrician in Philadelphia? Like the more you use keywords and write content on your website, the more searchable you become. You become more relevant in the search engines because a lot of the information that somebody's going to be searching for is on your website. So that's one like trick you can do to try to be seen more. But just don't think that because you have a website, everyone's going to see it. People aren't going to see shit for like three to six months. You might get one email every once in a while or one call off of it. But you need to be doing work with Google. Google My Business is, a, is an important thing to be a part of. Uh, they verify your business and you get your business put on a listing on Google Maps and getting positive reviews constantly and updating your reviews, asking customers to go on Google and give you a review is another way that you're just gonna rank higher. So you have to actually do things for your website to rank high. Um, another thing for your website to rank high is that your web address needs to be saved by other people in the world. So if people like bookmark your website, or if you're in forums and people are like sharing links to your website, or if you're in a bunch of Facebook groups and you're posting your stuff everywhere and you're getting tons of followers and likes and shares, that's another way. Just them taking your www.whateverelectrician.com. The more people that you can get to, to follow you or to share your links or like your links, it's a popularity contest really. So you need to be creating like unique content and updating stuff on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and like being active, putting pictures, like pictures is another thing that really helps your SEO and your, your search rankings. If you can put a ton of pictures of your work and pictures of you just ah, being goofy and a picture of you and your wife and your kid, but they're all tagged douchebagelectricity.com, you know, like whatever, Dunbar Electric, whatever your company name is, if you tag all of your pictures with that stuff and then tag all the pictures with what's actually in the picture and use really good tags and keywords, that's another thing that really helps your website get up. Um, so building building websites, super easy nowadays. Uh, it's it's a no-brainer. If, if you need help trying to figure out how to build your website, man, get a hold of me. I can sit there over a phone call and explain to you in five minutes how to build like a really good looking website. Um, most of the stuff's already designed. So when you go to Squarespace, you look at the templates that are available. There's tons of free templates. You can pay like 40 bucks or a hundred bucks for a killer template, or you can just hire somebody to go and use a template and make you a website for a few hundred dollars. But like seriously, there's people spending like $10,000 on websites, on killer websites. You don't have to do that to start out but definitely get a website because the website is going to be your home base and all of your other like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all the shit that you're all over the place that you're going to be doing because in today's age, if you're young and you know how social media works and you know how the internet works and how important it is, you can't not be in all these social networks and in forums and talking to people, but your website is your core. That's your home base. Um, and to stay relevant, you kind of need to be constantly putting new content out there. Uh, and s like forcing yourself to be relevant. So that's it. That's all I got to say about websites. Um, again, if you need any help, if you've got any questions, reach out to me, man. I can, I've been building websites since I was a kid and we used to have to code them all and actually like learn how to write HTML, JavaScript and CSS and write all these different codes. And then when the shit didn't work, you had to go through like line by line and look through this like Chinese writing. Cause that's all it is. is just characters and numbers and letters and, 
troubleshoot all of it. You don't have to do any of that shit anymore. It automatically just works. Everything that you do, they make it so that you can't screw anything up. You just drag pictures around and you just put words and change it so it's bold or italic and make the bigger, make it smaller, put a little video. Like it's so fucking easy nowadays. So get a website and uh, that's it. Subscribe. If I'm not annoying the living shit out of you, if I'm annoying the living shit out of you, I'm really not sorry. Subscribe anyways. Um, like my shit. Go check out the podcast, Stitcher and iTunes. Join us on journeytomaster.com. You can like follow on that. Um, you can go to the Journey to Master Facebook group and follow. If you're an electrician and you're looking for a good group of guys, go to Electrical Wizardry on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. Join that shit and talk ask questions teach guys don't be a prick or you'll get kicked out because we don't put up with that shit we're actually a good group of guys we're actually trying to learn things take care of each other teach each other um so if you think that you would fit the mold in there join that shit see you guys in the next episode bye